Hello everybody, it's Teresa here and I'm back after having a breakaway. Myself and John went to Paris for five days, um, really I suppose to honour our first wedding anniversary. So that was really pleasant and it's good to take time out, you know, to really take time out. And uh, we had a, a lovely boat ride down the river and we walked and walked and walked and walked at between 14 and 20,000 steps every day. Went to visit some lovely art galleries and theatres and had lovely food, went to the Eiffel Tower. Uh, just did a lot of um, what tourists do really, but taking in the architecture and the ambience and um, turning a blind eye to the broken footpaths and uh, the crowds of people. Um, that was probably my challenge there really, but uh, overall it was very beautiful. And you can see I'm um, wearing one of my new tops that uh, I bought there and uh, I love colour, I really do. I feel it, you know, brightens me up and uh, I hope that it does the same for you when you're watching this, you know, it has wings. <laughs> so I, I really came on because I feel that there is a, another real shift in the energy, which is lovely. It's a higher vibrational shift again. And I know we have a new moon Tomorrow night it is the 18th, yeah, tomorrow night. And of course, when we have a new moon, that's when the sky is at its darkest and then the moon is reborn, basically birthing itself. And it's a great opportunity for us to take on something new. Like, you know, we rebirth it into more of ourselves, really, into what we are passionate about, what we came here to do. Um, we all suffer from amnesia. There is not one human being that has incarnated into a body on earth that has remembered everything from past lives and where they originated from. So we're beginning to remember and become aware of a little more day by day, but we really do need to slow down, um, to slow down to smell the roses, you know, that's an old saying, but yeah, slow down to smell the roses and take stock of how you're feeling, you know, we really need to get back in touch with those innate capabilities that are within us and help us to raise our vibration. The support is there, the planetary support is there, the vibrational support is there. We just need to be able to really tune in, you know, so taking walks in nature, meditating, going to a healer, looking after yourself, having good food, having plenty of rest, taking time out, you know, assessing things, you know, discerning, asking, is this true? And I suppose for myself over the last, in particular, three years, um, I've begun to realize that not everything you read, especially like um, in the news, or not everything you see is actually the truth. So it's really important that, you know, you find a way of discerning, you know, is it true or untrue? And you know, I, I keep saying this because I really do want people to start becoming more conscious and more aware because you know, we're all feeding into the collective and it's going to help us to let go of all this control and this war and this violence and this lower vibration that's in the mix at the moment. You know, it's all coming up for healing, but we can make it happen a little faster if we actually all play our part. So back to the passion, you know, um, that's the one thing I asked before I put the camera on was what's the main theme, you know, what do I need to talk about? Um, and it was for people to find what they're passionate about. And if you can't find that, maybe you would ask yourself, when I was a child, what did I do? How did I express myself creatively? You know, did I like going out into the wilderness, you know, playing? Did I use my imagination to play games? I know I had a great opportunity to do that because I was born into a big family and we lived at the foot of a mountain. So there was no electricity even in our house. Um, there was actually no running water either in our house. We moved when I was 12 years of age. You know, we took the water from the well you'd hardly believe this you know how fast we moved since that time and uh, our drinking water from the well and um, we'd rain water off the eave shoots and we had to bring it from the river in the summer you know so we have moved a long long way but we had great fun you know we, we used to climb up trees and imagine we were flying and jumping off them and we would hide 
in all different places and we had fields and fields and fields to play in and it was so safe you know but maybe some people like to do some art maybe some drawing you know I used to actually love um, some crosswords and some monopoly and things like that I used to do word searches with my grandparents and sometimes they would just make up a word and ask us to make up as many words as we could from that word you know combined harvester was one of my favorites because it was such a big word to me at that time and just to see how many words you could come up with out of that word and I love that but of course that was really good for the mind because it was stimulating the mind and you know um, I suppose forcing the mind to just expand itself that little bit more and it was lovely because my grandparents used to play it with me and it was really nice but that takes you back to your passion what do you love to do I always loved to be with people I used to love looking after my grandfather he'd had a stroke I always loved to help people I always loved angels I always loved to connect you know and to really connect with nature i always loved flowers and plants and um I, I i couldn't remember i used to be nurturing all the flowers and the roses and the plants and talking to them when i was a child and you know i still do that and it's beautiful you know the plants are here to nourish us they coexist with us we coexist with them so what's your passion you know and if you can't remember Take yourself back to your childhood, maybe your teenage years when you had those dreams, when you were thought, oh my God, it would seem too good to be true to do X, Y, or Z. And maybe start journaling on that, a little note for yourself. This is what it feels like for me to really enjoy life and forget about the obstacles, you know, because once we actually align to things, things start to flow, you know? So if we put the obstacles in the way, we just have a longer journey into finding what makes us tick, you know, what really makes you tick. So I have um, a soul coaching deck here from Denise Lynn, and I'm gonna take a card from that, and then I'll draw an angel card or two, <laughs> or three. And just let's see the soul coaching card first. Just one now, please. So just ask my guardian angel to be with me now and to help me to feel the vibration of this card so that I may choose a generic message. Wow, I see angel wings. Commitment. My commitments increase my joy and freedom. Okay, so I'm talking about passion. Okay, so if you're actually following your passion, following your bliss, you will have that joy. So it's making a commitment to yourself, really. So what are you committed to? And this, I cannot reiterate this enough. It is so important that we stay in the energy of our desire and what we want and not what's wrong and who did this and who said that and what's going on in the world. Get out of that vibration because you will move so much faster. So what is your commitment? My commitment increases my joy and freedom. So that could be an affirmation. My commitment increases my joy and freedom. I'll write that out for you. Mm. It's, it's really time. It's really, really, really time to be able to sort of sift through all the nonsense that you're being fed um, through social media, through all medias, um, through the mainstream media uh, and, and sift through it, you know. Imagine that you have uh, sand and there are some diamonds in the sand and you've got to let go of the dirt and the grit and the everything that's not necessary and you put it all into a shaker and you shovel in all the sand, you know, that's what's coming at you. Shovel loads, bucket loads of information. And you get your sift and you just sift it so that you're left with the diamonds. That's really what you have to do at the moment, you know, because there is just so much floating around. And we have the support to be able to differentiate truth from untruth. So it comes through the heart. So checking in with the heart. Now, I'm going to take one of these beautiful cards. They're, they're, they're a very basic deck of cards. They're sort of a beginner's deck, I feel. But because they're a beginner's deck, it's like the rebirthing. We're birthing all over. I started to reuse them. Um, there's just one more generally on the card. So it's for me then to intuitively understand the message and what the message is now, right now at this moment for us. I actually feel so much of a lighter vibration. 
we're getting there. Okay, what does it say? Angel of Friendship. Okay, so what am I picking up from this card? Okay, so if you look at the card instantly, you see the yellow. Okay, so I'm picking up like solar plexus energy. So it's vibrancy, it's flowers, it's butterflies in the air. So I'm seeing that all different colors. So it's like there's all different paths and all different avenues and all different doorways that can take you to where you want to go. Okay, so, you know, you're being listened to. So if you can look at this and you see, you know, the angels are there and they're listening. But what I'm picking up from this card more than ever is that your friendships may be changing um, and your friendships often change when you're raising your vibration, when you're moving on, when you're actually deciding to follow your bliss and not the expectations of others. So it's important during times of change to have friends that you can just speak to and just offload to at times and listen to at other times supportive friends that won't judge you that will just let you be you know what we don't need is someone to give us advice because that's back to the old paradigm really of somebody telling you what to do and you following it and then feeling miserable because it's time to actually be following your bliss following your passion now i'm going to take um an archangel card and see who's here for us for this week now for the for the rest of this week i just feel there's a big shift in the energy and uh i'll be back again next week with more cards but for now i just feel there's a massive shift and tomorrow is going to be a big day for us all actually it feels big as well <laughs> it just feels that it's like that this week now there's a shifting going on and it really is about deciding to like just jump you know jump in there you know like what is it you want to do let the fear go you know, i put up a little post on facebook this morning and it said you know uh when fear knocked at the door love opened it and nobody was there no i thought that was a quote from the bible but maybe it's not maybe it's something that i've heard along the way or maybe it's something that was downloaded to me I don't want to know but i put it up this morning because it just feels like it's really bright it's really light so there's a very good week message here see that card now is hopping for us so i'm going to take that card and this just feels like there's one more i'm just getting yeah i'm just feeling like we're all like i know we're all in transition for a while now but at this particular week it's where just choices and decisions are going to be made so the second card is a guiding card so i'm going to leave that there for a minute and I'll just go with this one for now. Okay, relationship harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So this is really important because when we're moving on, it's really important that we have compassion for ourselves and compassion for others. And that actually ends up in harmonious relationships. So the angels are opening the heart to everything, the gateway really to love, to ascension is through your heart. Now you have a physical heart, but you have a higher heart, like an energetic heart. So obviously both are really important, but our energetic heart is really here to help us to ascend. And the angels are here helping us through the heart to bring in relationship harmony. Now, what is this other card, Zedkiel? Okay, so Zedkiel is an angel that I would work a good bit with. Um, I have a lovely meditation with him that I created, oh God, years back now. And, you know, he's the angel of forgiveness, mercy and compassion. So he does help us to remember the truth, remember who we are and to understand compassion because we are compassionate beings. If our hearts are open, compassion just flows. And Zadkiel uses the violet ray of energy for transmutation. And that's a ray of energy I work with in IET. It's a ray of energy I work with with St. Germain. So here in my healing practice, I would work with the violet ray, which is the seventh ray of energy. And the notice for us today is notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. So it's clear audience. So Zadkiel is here to say, take notice of those loving messages that are just playing around inside in your mind or perhaps somebody else has said it to you so it could be this angel reading it could be something you read on social media it could be something you just dream about something that you're just inside in the shop and you overhear a conversation 
or that some friend says to you or some family member or whatever. So clear audience is about clear hearing and clear audience doesn't have to be in the physical ear. You know, it can be the inner ear. So, you know, those things that you hear in your mind. Okay, so that's clear audience. So that ZKL is here supporting us. Now I'm going to take out one more card for us and I'm forgetting to take out a deck for the children. So I'm going to reach into the drawer and pick out a deck uh, for the children as well. I have so many decks of cards. I love the cards and I love the guidance and the cards are really just a little prop, you know. Yeah, it's a good week, you know. Embrace it. Grab it. Grab it by the reins. It's your life, you know. It's a short stay. It really is. We're just passing through. So what are you passionate about? They're saying it to me again. Okay, so what do we need to surrender? Now this is generic, so if you want a full reading, it'll take an hour, this healing with the reading. I do them online or I do them here in this healing space in Mornington and County Mead. So I'm, I'm in Glenbone, but that's in the Mornington area. Okay, so here we go. One card, what do we most need to surrender? Surrender to effortlessness, okay. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Now, I absolutely love that card because we just get caught up in our minds and we try to force things and do things like everybody else has done, achievement, success, all of this. So it really is about what's your passion? You know, what's your passion and just do it and watch what happens. Just watch what happens in all areas of your life. Now, card for the kitties, please. Okay, so I have the Diana Cooper deck here beside me. And we'll take one card for the children, okay? So, all the children of the earth. They may be related to you genetically, they may be neighbors, they may be friends, children, they may be grandchildren. We just ask for a card for the children of the earth. So if you are blessed enough to have children in your life, this is a message that you might be able to just share with that child or those children. And it's love. Your angels love you, whatever you do. Say to yourself, my angels always love me. And we have more angels here on earth at the moment than we've ever had because there's more and more people invoking the angels and asking for their help. And you know, angels will stand by and they will just wait for you to summons them really for help. And all you have to do is ask, ask and you shall receive, you know? So I hope that you enjoy that. So be kind to yourself, take some well deserved time out have a look at how your life is balanced with work rest and play and what are you passionate about what are you passionate about this is going to help you to just align yourself to your purpose everything else follows okay we've been set up really to think that it's money 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 work 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 money 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 and it actually doesn't happen like that um you know play that you're paid for is what Angel Ariel says and I think it's a lovely way of saying it you know when you actually follow your passion and follow your bliss you will be rewarded for it you will be rewarded I always say you know you will always be looked after if you trust the universe you will be looked after so have a beautiful week ahead and if you do feel that you would like a full reading or indeed a healing I offer integrated energy therapy, healing and training at all levels. I offer metatronic healing. I offer angel card readings and I do them with healing. You know, I connect heart to heart before I start. And I also offer life coaching sessions. And sometimes people like for some mentoring, spiritual mentoring. So I offered that as well. So you will find some information on me on my website, www.lightingtheway.ie. And uh, I am starting to offer more availability, one-to-one uh, -one clients, both remotely and in person. So the changes, I'm just waiting for my web designer to make some changes for me. But Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays, when I mainly offer one-to-ones and workshops are generally at the weekends. Just keep an eye on the website. God bless you and thank you. It's good to be alive.